welcome back to my channel. We're doing another makeup video for Valentine's Day. Um, I already did most of my foundation, so I'm just making sure. I started this and my niece and nephew are here, so I ran out to see them. My nephew might charge in here. I, I snuck off, so if he hears me talking, he's probably going to open it and come in. <laughs> so I just dyed my hair. It's still wet. I just got out of the shower, and I got to brush it. <laughs> but, um, now that, I don't know about you guys with long thick hair, but I can't brush it for a minute when you first dye it and it comes out and you get out of the shower, I have to like let it dry a little bit because I'm like, <clears throat> my brush won't go anymore. <laughs> Irish girl problems. Anyway. Oh, it's my basket. My, my bed isn't normally creaky. <laughs> it's my laundry basket over there. Anyway. No, I'm gonna to do that. I'm gonna do a Valentine's look like I said. But I'm gonna do a little bit lining of the face first. Just going with the flow today. <laughs> a little behind. I have to run some errands. I don't know if I'm gonna make it to my dog today. I hope so. Fridays are rough because it's my first day off and I try to get, you know, the stuff that isn't going to be open on the weekends done. Anyway, so the last time we did a makeup video, I was telling you about the book I'm writing a little bit. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that just for something to do. <laughs> and I still am looking for some feedback. I did get a few emails. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> I like all the notes and that you're listening and being helpful. I appreciate it so much. Um, so we talked about Devin and Brenna and Rue. If you didn't watch, um, I think it, I'm not sure if it was the pink one or the one without pink but I talked a lot about the story, um, the main characters and that one. Um, you don't have to know about that. I'm not going to get fully into the whole story and just give my shit away for free. But I am going to talk a little bit about the evolution of the story because I guess it's going to be several seasons. And there's three main characters in season one. Um, well, the main focus of season one is the orphans, what I'm calling is apocalyptical stuff so I did talk a little bit about um <laughs> I don't want to show my laundry over there because I have a bunch of laundry that I have to do um anyway <laughs> where should I go first well, I guess I'll do my blush now why not So, like I said, the villain, there's a few villains in season one. There's going to be a villain pretty much in every season due to the nature of the show and the world that the characters live in. Um, but the, the main villain is kind of like a cult leader. And I <laughs> based him off of Ron Hubbard. I think that's his name, the Scientology guy that's fucking twisted, the guy that founded this so-called religion, took a lot of characteristics of his crazy mind and created this character. But um, I also had to tell his backstory, like, not only do I have to, like, because at this point in the story, he's at the peak of his power, when we come into season one, He's already in control. He's running the show. Um, but just like flashbacks from the three main characters who... I'm trying to use the light from this, which isn't always easy. I had to get a new little mirror. Anyway, I'm using plain white in my <laughs> LA colors. It's 99 cents for this, or a little over a dollar now. I don't think anything's 99 cents anymore, especially the dollar store is now a dollar twenty-five. <laughs> but that's the world we live in, thanks to the pandemic. Um, so when we flash back with the main characters, 
this person wasn't in power and you have to see his backstory and um, his rise to power and why um, he is the way he is because just like the other characters uh, the villain also has flashbacks in season one um, so obviously before the world went to shit this person wasn't a villain um, was actually a pretty upstanding citizen um, followed the rules um, was a stickler for like people literal littering and just like kind of had OCD and was um, very religious uh, had a religious upbringing um, loved his wife you know wasn't at all a creepy guy or anything and wasn't doing anything foul um, and then the world <laughs> went to shit <laughs> so it obviously has a, a tendency to change people um, we're using Berry Kiss, by the way, again, for another sweet Valentine's look. I'm just using a regular tissue to brush my eyeshadow brush off in between. I'm going to go over what I just did with pink. White is just not sh shimmery enough for me, making it more skin toned. If you have more cocoa skin, you don't necessarily need to lighten this up because I feel like the white will show for you, but this pink is going to put a shimmer to it that the white doesn't have. Again, it's this top corner one. And you can find these kits at Dollar General or Walmart. They're around three bucks. Um, trying to think of kind of making this up as we go along for the look. Oh, hello. I'm gonna go a little kooky. It's okay though. We're gonna play with this dark right under the light pink. It's going in the crease. like a purplish black. I don't know how to... Plum, maybe? It's going to look different on everybody's skin tone. It might look lighter if you have a darker complexion. complexion? <laughs> but for me, Pally over here, it's a bit darker, but I like it. Don't worry, this is going to be nice and girly and Valentine's-y. I just want this in the crease for some contrast and dramatic effect. Oh, little Mary's crying. It's my niece. I think she's like a month old now, about. It's my nephew. He went to the dentist for the first time today. I don't want to tell too much of the story, but... So I'm like, trying to figure out how... Because not only do I have to get you to hate him, but I have to get you to understand what made him kind of go off the hinges and be this crazy person. And that's got to progress through the season. It's not like you're going to get those answers right away. Like, I'm going to get you to hate him first. Like, who is this guy? This guy's fucking nuts. Like, I don't think anyone's going to like him off the bat at first. But as the season progresses and you start to see his story and his journey of how he got there, um, you're going to find that at some points you have a little bit of sympathy for him and at some points it's like, yeah, but no one else was doing that and everybody lost everybody. So it's a constant tug of war of somebody's conscious. <laughs> like, do you hate this guy? Do you love him? I don't know. Because he's a character, 
that I created in this world, like I said, every character becomes real to me. It's like a real person. They have their own personalities, their own style, their own look, their own mannerisms. And in my mind, they become real because I have to describe them to you. Like, not that I think these people are real. Like, I'm not crazy. You know what I mean? But while I'm writing, I can picture them vividly in my mind. And so, we're, again, this is LA Colors. About three bucks at Dollar General or Walmart. I'm using the red. I'm not sure if this will still be out because this came out around Christmas time. But you can use any red. Um, Claire's, like the little store Claire's. I know it's like little kid makeup, but they do a lot of colors that um, people don't carry. If you want to check there. But mostly like any... Any store has been carrying crazy colors since the pandemic. Because I feel like with most of our faces covered, people are getting more accentuated with their eye makeup. Because <laughs> that's like the only thing we have to accessorize and set us apart while we wear masks. I'm just doing the corners with this really pretty red here. Moving on a bit further for this one. Just play with it, making it as even as you can. I'm going to go right into the gray and mix it as much as I can without it smearing into my red. So we got the villain. I'm not going to give you his name, mostly because I haven't decided I'm bouncing between two. I want his name to be catchy. <laughs> um, but as any good villain, they have minions. So I'm going over the crease in the middle with silver, with this glittery silver from the same palette here. Let's give it a little bit more of a pop. Like I said, I'm doing this as we go. I have no idea what we're doing. I'm just letting my artistic <laughs> nature take over today. Oh my goodness, Mary. So before I put this away, I'm going to use, which I don't normally use very much. I don't think I've, actually I haven't used it. We're using this blue. Oh yes, color today. In the corner. Just a little. So, the villain has minions that we also need to get to know. How did they meet these minions? How did they get them to be their minions and follow them so loyally? So I'm just like literally getting everybody's backstory right now. Even though I can't seem to get past chapter one and explaining the stages of the apocalypse, I'm having a hard time. So chapter one is going to be a bit tricky, which people would normally call the pilot episode. That one, I think I'm just gonna, maybe I'm just gonna write the rest of the season and do the pilot last. Because maybe it'll help me tie things in better by knowing the ending, which I don't really know at this point. So, if something gives me trouble, I will put it on the back burner and move on and tie it in. I'm a weird writer like that, because I don't want it to become writer's block and like hinder me. So I'll keep working, I'll keep playing with it as I go, but if I get an idea, like, <laughs> I started the story the other night as if the pilot was already done, and it took me in a new direction, that was good. Again, just touching up the silver. So like I said, pilot might be last, which is weird. For most writers, they'd be like, how the fuck are you going to do that? But there's methods to my madness. <laughs> All right, we are moving back to our berry kiss here. So we got red and we got blue. I need to make it more girly now. So going in the middle here to this purple. I'm going right up against the blue here. So 
So how do I get people to fall in love with people who are clearly doing stuff that is wrong and questionable and includes minors and and the society would be like so like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? And also how do you make it appropriate for TV and still crazy like that? So I'm playing with those. I'm also playing with the the conflicts like you have conflicts in the story of people and then because of the st- nature of the world and the storyline you're gonna have conflicts with you know things that just come up in general like hunting fishing weather uh structures collapsing because there's no one taking care of things bridges going out like there's all things that have to happen and come up and causes drama in the story and conflict so I have to figure out what the people conflicts are and what the natural yeah I should have prepped my eye because I'm getting it under here it's alright I'll clean it up (laughs) really if he's so cute I don't know if you can hear the chatter out there. But, um, pink next. Right next to the purple. So I'm also, like, how does the characters, like, the main characters truly feel? Do they have sympathy for this guy because they've known him for a bit and they've seen them come up in power? Um, like a lot of people have. Do they have a hold on them like they have a hold on the rest? Like, I've been playing with, like, obviously Rue is against this guy. And Brenna is very smart and she's against them too, just from the training they both have. But Devin, on the other hand, is very trusting and really just wants to belong and have a family. Um... And be who he is. So I I think Devin is going to drink a little bit of the Kool-Aid for a while. (laughs) Which might um, cause conflict with... I mean, it's going to cause conflict with the friendships. So basically, I'm just mapping what's happening. What are we focusing on? What's important? And how do I make this all work in my book? (laughs) It's not easy writing a series. Or a book. And people don't realize the levels that go into... I mean, I the first night I did just blast out a whole season. But clearly I'm not keeping a majority of that. So it's a lot more intricate and complex than people realize. Especially if you're planning on doing like... Not just a short series, but like a longer scale show like this would be. A couple seasons. My goal would be at least six seasons. Without it getting stupid or boring. (laughs) You know what I mean? Without people getting old. Or getting old to people. I've watched so many shows where it's like so great in the beginning. And then I'm like. I don't know if I'm going to keep watching. I'm getting a bit bored. That's happened to me so many times. Need to do something in between this blue and purple to set a difference here. Gotta soften all of this up. Pink, second one. In between the blue and the purple. Sorry, I'm just, it's hard to concentrate. Oh my god, I'm open. Did I 
that again. <laughs> Going back to the red. All right, let's touch up. The silver. Next, wet and wild glitter. Don't worry about this. <laughs> that will all be gone in a minute. <laughs> Normally I put my concealer on, but I'm in a rush today a little bit. My hair's in it. Yuck. I'm shedding from dyeing my hair. Going over the whole entire lid with silver. I like the layered texture colored look. It's not so bright. You'll appreciate it more once I get the shit off under my eyeball. <laughs> so I'm testing out new wipes because I ran out of my good one. I don't like these. Um, Dollar, Dollar Tree? No, wait a minute. Not worth it. I've had to use like three of them just to do the job of what my normal one does. And they're very just too cheap. I'm going to redo, because I was too much in the rush to put some concealer on ahead of time so it would catch all this shizzle. Now i got to fix my face. I actually do this a lot more than I should. <laughs> you know, you'd think I'd learn to remember to just... Nope. Super tired today as well. I think that might be a majority of my problem. <laughs> So, where's my concealer again? Anyway, I hope that people like the story and it catches and I can get a network to pick it up when I'm done. I hope I can find a manager to help me find a network to pick it up because that part of it gives me anxiety as a writer. I just, I don't want to deal with the business end of it. It psychs me out and then I'm question my work and then it'll go in the trash again. We're not doing that. We're going to publish books now instead of just writing them and throwing them out like a weirdo. Um, I'll get a little bit of foundation just to make sure. Anyway, what are you guys doing? This weekend for Valentine's Day, do you have any dates? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> All I'm doing is hanging out with the fam and seeing my dog. Treating myself to maybe a haircut this weekend, depending on what I feel. I dyed it, now it's time to cut it. I think I need a change, <laughs> for sure. All right, so we're gonna put color under my nephew and my mom are so funny. They're like BFFs, it's the cutest thing. Hi, Grandma. Come in. <laughs> so they have a special bond. Anyway, what color should I do underneath? Should I do red? Look at the people. Very kiss again. Very holiday y. I'm gonna go this pink, sorry, <laughs> from the end of my eye to the middle and stop at the middle. Unless you're a pink fanatic. And you want pink all the way across. And then also, um, 
Go right under the blue with your pink. Almost like where you would do a cat eye line. You're making a little triangle, see that? I go out past my eye. Lately, I'm mixing 90s and 80s style, and you know, most people might find it weird, but I'm going a little fashion forward. <laughs> It'll either catch on or it won't. But I like it. Again, just halfway into the corner of your eye here. Don't be afraid. It doesn't have to be a thin line. We're being bold with this look. This would be perfect for a nightclub dance party. <laughs> or someone, some restaurant with dark lighting. One second. Sorry, my nose keeps running. Ever since I got COVID, it just... The cough and the runny nose never went away. And plus it's winter. <laughs> so it could be that too. Um, Alright, so we got the pinks. Next. Right next to it again. Purple. Just a little dot of purple. Enough to be seen. I move. Her laugh makes me laugh. My sister dyed my hair. It's been a sister day. <laughs> Again. <laughs> you think I don't know what the fuck to do? <laughs> with the red the rest of the way <laughs> my sister Hannah was singing no mommy do it not Hannah <laughs> him and Hannah play fight all the time it's really funny <laughs> Oh, there. I feel like I went down and then <laughs> the same silver no I'm not going to do silver let's do white pink where'd you go berry kiss I guess I'm not done with you berry kiss again that light light pink we put on the top of our lid I want you to go across the whole thing. Blend it. Shimmer. It'll look cool, especially if you have put the big eyelashes on. We're not done yet. Next. Let's do eyeliner. Liquid eyeliner from Wet n Wild. I think it's like a dollar nine or something. You can decide how high up of a line you want to do. If you want to do a thinner line, a thicker one. I'm going super fast. I just got it in my eyelash. <laughs> it's alright. Going a bit thicker because this is very dramatic. And I'm going to do a corner to help tie in all these colors. Try to make a tiny little bit of a triangle 
off the end of your eyelash. This is going to take work. It took me so long to, to get that right. You just got to play with your face and your shape of your eye, but I go right off. I just do my regular line. I can't talk with this eye. Go right across your line. And just keep going. And then I go to the center here, at the corner of your eye, and I draw a line to meet, and then fill it in. That's how you get the triangle. Settle. Then you can make it thicker. So dramatic, but I like it. I need to go up a bit. It's really hard to talk and do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can hear them talking in the background at all, but it's so cute. <laughs> this takes a while. This is the last one or else I'll be here all day trying to get these lines even. I have to cut myself off. I'm a Virgo. That's as good as it gets today. <laughs> Next. I want that dry because I put a few layers on it and I can feel it's still wet and I don't want to touch it and smear it. Eyelash curler. If you're not using fake eyelashes, this helps curl it up over your makeup. Not sure if people really use these anymore. I don't know what fake eyelashes are <laughs> everywhere. But I don't really like fake eyelashes. It makes my lid feel heavy and my eyelids are so small it hides my eyeshadow. <laughs> okay, so I just try to blink into it. And when you hold your eye open, just pull it up. Again, CoverGirl with their black flakes, but I bought it. I'm going to use it until it's gone and find something else. <laughs> Not a, No longer a fan of CoverGirl at all. It's ruined so many of my looks. Just goopy and gross. And drops all these little, you can't see it on here, but there's like, it looks like I have freckles. Lighting in here sucks, but I wouldn't send anybody out with these black flakes all over their face. Just from doing mascara. Now I gotta do something with my hair. And it's just, <laughs> I don't like the day that you dye your hair. Always makes your hair gross. 
or feel gross anyway. But the rose, rose oil that I put in here definitely takes that dye smell out. <sighs> now that's not dripping wet, I can play with it and see. <laughs> yeah, it's dark because it's wet and, and the light would probably be wicked red. <laughs> What am I going to do with my hair today? I have no idea. I'm just so tired today, to be honest. I'm not into... I know it's Friday night, but I'm like, I just want to write. Can I just write, please? Run my errands and get back here so I can do just that. get some food because I'm starving. <laughs> We're out of groceries. Groceries. I have my own language. <laughs> Alright, so. Make the under pop just as much as the top with these dramatic looks. Pull out any chunks that you don't like. Because sometimes it sticks to the end of your eyelashes and just wipe it off. Don't let it ruin your look, especially if you're using CoverGirl. <laughs> I'll write them an angry email. Your product sucks. <laughs> like it. And you're so overcharging people for crap. But you know, they're not the only one. And the makeup industry isn't any different than any other business right now. Trying to cut corners and make things for cheaper. And if you buy it like on Amazon or something, it's not actually the same product I'm finding. Touching on my blush. It's fucked up. <laughs> Alright, so all I got left is the lip. Which I buried. <laughs> I don't line my lips or anything. You can if you want. Um, play with colors if you want to do like a different color lip liner than your lipstick. I feel like, oh shit. I'd do an electric purple if I had it lip liner and then I'd put this cherry on and make it plum people might look at me weird but I think it would be fabulous <laughs> again this is made by LA Colors it's moisturizing lip gloss that's so a little bit thicker and cuz I'm A weirdo. I make sure I put a lot on and just rub it in and wipe the extra, extra off because one, I don't lip line and two, I hate having gaps when you speak to people and your lips. I don't like it. <laughs> it's like, it distracts me from your makeup. Remember in Star Wars when, uh, what was her name? <laughs> Anakin's lady there. She, I can't think of it. She did like weird, I didn't like that either. I'm like, no. That's stupid. Finish coloring in your lip, please. <laughs> what was that character's name? Put it in the comments if I can't think of it. Luke and Leia's mom. <laughs> I keep wanting to say Herm Hermione, but that's fucking Harry Potter. I think I'm going to leave it there. 
Usually I take it down a little bit more, but I like it more pinky. Just make sure there's no lipstick on your face and Fiona, you have your Valentine's Day look. I hope you liked it. I hope it was helpful and I hope it looks you, makes you look great at the clubs this weekend for Valentine's Day or um, if you're going out to dinner at night and the lighting's going to be very low and dark. There you go. I will do another one. Um, I got asked to do the makeup I wore for my mask, Divine Masculine video. It's kind of gold and yellow. So I'll be sure to do that one probably tomorrow for you. And thanks for requesting and thanks for noticing my makeup to want to do it. Um, I feel like this line is thicker than this line. But I'm too lazy to fix it. So it is what it is. Don't do that to yourself. Play longer. I'm just in a rush today. Also advertising for my company. <laughs> Syracuse label and surround printing. Because it's employee owned. I'm an employee now. See? <laughs> Alright, love you all. See you soon. Have a great Friday. And I'm going to do a reading later about what's coming for you this Valentine's Day weekend. And figure out something to do with this crazy hair. Because <laughs> it's not going to work with me today. It's just the day you dye your hair, it's stiff and like dead a little. I got products. We're going to fix it. But it's not my shiny. I want to cut it off so bad. I don't know. I might do this. Oh, this short. <laughs> this is how long my hair is. I can make. I can make my own beard probably. Hold on. <laughs> I used to do this all the time. I know it's time to cut it if I can get it. Yep. I can look like an Amish person. <laughs> Look like Wednesday <laughs> from the Adams family. <laughs> Time to cut it. It's long. It's in my way. Stop it. <laughs> if when it hits you in the face when you do that, it's time. You can't do anything <laughs> cool. Like you try to do a dance and you're like hurting yourself. It's like, ow. Oh, shit. I was whipping my hair the other day. I'm like, too long. Too long. I gotta cut it. It's too rough. Ugh. But anyway. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I'm going to do a reading for Valentine's Day. I'm also going to do a deceased loved one reading at some point this re this weekend. More makeup videos. More makeup videos. I don't know. We're growing accents around here. Love and light. See you all next time. Bye!